Jeremiah here. Okay. Now, thank you for sitting in to listen to those talks, those beautiful testimonies from different people. We now want to honor the man that uh, we love very much from Mombasa. And uh, Pastor Leverett Monene, I'm hoping you will give your comments in Kiswahili. We want to <laughs> listen to you. <laughs> so we will hear from Leverett Yota, and then you will welcome for us the man of the day, our bishop, so that he can give his comments and maybe introduce the high table so that we get to know them. Yes. Karibu, Reverend Jodham. Now, what your high table to know about here? You can use, feel free. You can come here, but you are free to use this one. Kindly. What's an idea for Chini? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> 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 Right, Sana, but a you know they know. Before I welcome uh, Bishop, I'm going to Last couple of years, we went house town, house town, to to be to know to Kana wakana, bao mifanya kazi nae. Wote wamefanya katika sitam. Ingawaje, eh, the Kilonsos have another ministry which is in Greek. Naitua Numa. Kwa hivyo nafikiri tutaanzia. Absolutely. Founding pastors in sitam. Yes, there was uh, Reverend Bandu, Reverend Kilonso, uh, Kivanguli, and David Muridi, and then, uh, then the bishop. I mean, Dennis White. Asante. Bishop Adoyo, I'm going to join Okay, that makes them five. Pastor Opondo, where do you know? I'm going to join you, Bishop Akigereza. Before I fight the bishop, but I'm going to go to the dance and Pastor Wairimo. Reverend, I'm sorry, Kasisi Menyewe. Kutoka, Reverend, these two reverends are my village pastors. They pastor my village church in Embu. Sit down Embu. So, Please, I will ask Pasi uh, to greet us. Sini seme iti yoda yote alafu. Mimi ni kisima ni keti tena. Akimaliza, tumwite Pastor Chris Panza. She might sing a song. That's a good And then, Pastor Monica will come. After that, we can have the Kilonsos, and then those are the captain. After I talk before captain, I mean talk just before captain, because when the captain is there, so after just before captain, I'll come and uh, say something, and then I invite captain to invite for us the papa, the uh, <laughs> God bless you, Pastor. 
Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 I'm happy to be here. My name is Idrin Wairimo. Uh, we serve with Pastor Bantu and Pastor Bencho at Church of Embu. And I'm grateful to be here. Mom Joy and Bishop, they are my mentors. I landed in their hands when I was an intern in Sita Bulupulu. That was my first station. And Bishop gives you space. Once he knows you are gifted, mm. he gives you space to serve the Lord. Mm. Uh, let me just give you one story so that you know. It's true. Mm. I was overseeing the children ministry when I was there. And during our DBBS, um, the pastor I was working under because I was an intern, I asked him whether I would preach that Sunday because we were live on TV, Citizen TV. And he told me, yeah, I have to go ahead and preach. So that whole week, I, I was expecting Bishop to come and tell me, uh, that was my maiden, someone he had never heard me preach, and he knew we were going to be on TV, and you know on TV, live TV, once something has been said, it has been said. Mm. And he trusted me. Mm. And I'm telling you, with that kind of trust, I said, Lord, I cannot fail you. I prepared. And I thank God for you, for you, Bishop. I went and I told him there was a group of people in Sitam that are neither here nor there, the senior singles. They are neither young professionals, they are not good at ages. Bishop Tuna Tuna Potelea Mahana. And he gave me his backing. Mm. And that's how the singles ministry, the joint one, was formed. Mm. And within no time I had I have been appointed a coordinator, mm. courtesy of Bishop here, mm. which I handed over last year. Mm. Bishop and Mam Joy. Truly honored. Amen. You are great servants of God. The Lord goes ahead of you. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to talk with you. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in Jesus' name. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wow. We could write books. I just want to say thank you, Bishop and Mom Joy. Um, when I came into CETAM in 2000, I had been in the congregation in Karen in 2002. But after two years in Karen, then I went to Valley Road, and in a little while he was made our senior pastor. And he was an amazing encourager. Um, in my ministry journey, when our family started experiencing the health journey with my husband. I remember one time going into his office after a service and saying, Bishop, pray with us because my husband needs to go to hospital. And the girls were really not for it. They were like, no, no, no. And Bishop put his hands around them and he just said, girls, your daddy is going to be fine. Can we pray? And in tears and kicking and nose, let him pray. The rest is history. I, I remember fondly him guiding me throughout the almost nine years that um, I coordinated the pastors and spouses retreats in Sita, having access to places I never imagined. Then sometimes they tell me, before, before we make this presentation, go and do this, do one, two, three, four, and let's sell this. Thank you, Bishop, for mentoring me in that journey. Um, then a year, two, uh, two years ago then, we, we met again in Sita Thika Road when he came as a senior pastor. And again, it was a joy, <laughs> a real joy um, to just be able to be in the, at the DSP while he was the SP. And Mom Joy is a lovely big sister. I can call Mom Joy. I, I, we've already talked. Our WhatsApp line is ready for me anytime. And thank you for not just being servants of the Lord, but being older brothers and sisters in the journey of ministry. Mm -hmm. Bishop, allow me to say thank you for encouraging lady pastors in a field where sometimes it's very easy to be sloughed out mm -hmm. or to feel like evil. Mm -hmm. Thank you for encouraging us, holding our hands like Reverend Oirimo has said, and I speak I know uh, I was not asked to represent the other lady pastors, 
where we're over 30 now lead pastors in Sita. Mm. Many of us can attest to the fact that you encouraged us in this journey. Thank you for not just mentoring us as lady pastors, but also encouraging our husbands, mm. our spouses, for those who are married. For those times you've reached out to Jemu and I didn't know you were reaching out and encouraging him in his journey. Thank you. Thank you for, for being there for us when things were thickest. Um, Mam Joy, thank you for dancing with us at Aboletum. Mam Joy and I belong to a dance group which we have both exited from. We hope that uh, Sita Go can start a dancing something senior past. We would like to have gospel music which we can dance to so that you don't say we are fat. It's wait. You know, thank you so so much for your partnership in that place, Mam Joy. And I could go on and on, but I just wish you God's blessing. And when we do come to the US to visit, some of us we will be putting your home as an address <coughs> to visit. So we will have many guests. Thank you. Thank you for walking with me as an individual. God bless you. you in the name of Jesus. My name is Monica Moki. I was in Nairobi Pentecostal Church. I know now I just
English team could come. Brother came to see. We have we have up to grade seven, and we have about ten classes and halls of this kind of thing. Just because she spoke the word of God and just dedicated that uh, ministry to the Lord. Through him, we were able to be to know people like Reverend Wairimu. He gave us a DVBS about three three years in a row. And I got to know Evelyn, who I love so much. We gave minister to our children, and up to today, they still ask for you. So you need to make arrangements to come. It has been a blessing to know this couple and to minister with them. And the thing I can say about them is the love and the passion, you know, they, they love God with all their hearts. They're so humble. They don't seek to be recognized. Mm. They, I don't know what other word I can use, but the Lord has used them greatly, and they have made impact in the lives of people, including me, my ministry, my family, just because the Lord blessed them in my life and also made them so humble as to minister. You've touched our lives and many of our ministry members. They talk about you, they think about you. And uh, the jobs we make with joy, I know we still make them when they are away. And uh, I'm seeing you in Texas in November. Mm. <laughs> we sure will miss you. And uh, I don't know whether Lydia is able to sing. But if she was able to sing, Joe would lead us to maybe sing a chorus. Uh, I think you can sing a chorus. Maybe you can sing a chorus. Things we've been singing uh, for all those years. I think we started singing together in 87, 88. Mm. We never get to practice now. <laughs> but I think we can, we can uh, just sing, sing, sing something. And when she us. When she leaves, we can sing. And we all stand also to join you. No, it's a special one. Okay, okay. This, this one I assure you, you will not know it. Okay. Yes. Just Try me. Yeah. <laughs> but Chris will know.
Thank you. Let's appreciate them. I actually recognize that song from some time ago. I think we have been sitting for too long. Could we just stand and stretch? Kidogo. I promise you we are going to now, my colleagues, we are going to try and be brief so that we can finish in good time. You can just try and stretch in your own way, in your own style. If you want to do it in a factorial way, whichever way you can, just stretch and then you may. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> you may have your seats. They assisted each other in that job. Before uh, Reverend Kilonzo speaks, and, and Mam Lydia, by the way, they were our pastors. We are originally from Sitam Woodley. And so when we went there, they were the senior pastors. The Kimines, I think, were doing internship. And later on, they became our senior pastors. So we are glad. All the other pastors who are here, will just start so that we recognize you kindly. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. Asanten Sana. God bless you. Thank you also. Karibu. Kono mai kiki ne mai mchea mu. Mai kiki ne ai ni MC. Thank you. Bwana siku. Amen. I want to thank the Lord so much. Um, just for this privilege, the opportunity to. I don't know. I think I I told Joshua Zandu. You call me. And then I wrote, I told her, I'm depressed. Just like that. So, and I was like, I wonder, why was I saying that? And then I realized, you see, as a pastor's wife and the lady pastors, I'm so happy to affect women pastors. Mm. That goes a little deeper. Mm. I know where I'm coming from when I say that. Mm. It was open. But just having as a lady called to ministry apart from your wife and uh, serving God and you know you have a call on your own and trying to navigate waters that have not been navigated was not easy. But all this time you had friends. Rachel was there, Bambi. Um, Joy was there. And, you know, just the three of us somehow you know, we used to navigate somehow, somehow. We had that fellowship. And over the years, and more so recently throughout, just having somebody you can talk to, laugh, just talk, anything. Good, bad, not, you're not understanding something, you're still able to be yourself. And I really found a friend, and three, three of us, between just Rachel, Joy, and I, that's what we found. Just the two. We can say anything, anyhow. And then just having that time to be able to share is something that I really value. Enjoy. Keep it up wherever you go. Uh, Rachel and I are there now. And I pray that God will help us to just continue. Because this is where the strength, we get our strength to be able to help and stand with the husbands who are serving. I really appreciate that. And I say, just keep it up and thank you so much for just availing yourself. You and Rachel, those times when you've been able to just talk, those are very important um, parts for a pastor's wife, even a lady pastor, just that opportunity. And I just thought, let me talk about that. There's so much I can say. We've known you from the ages, so it, there's a lot. But I think I just needed to close that. That the lady pastors, anyone who is here, or the wives of the pastors, that you find somebody you can talk to genuinely, who is genuine. I think that's why I'm, I'm, I'm saying a genuine person who truly understands, who cares, and they accept you as well. Look for that person because that's where you get the strength, the grace to be able to stand in ministry. That's all I have. God bless you so much. We miss you, Joy. Uh, you're leaving us, all of us now here. But I pray that God will just help us again to continue what we have already begun. And uh, Bishop Tom, of course, we missed and failed. God bless you.
as you say, life as you go, and may you just continue doing what you're doing, even if you have a crisis that you go. Just be a man of your word. And so be to have that. God bless you so much. Some of you are wondering why I'm calling him Bishop, but anyway, I've just called him Bishop. And, uh, and the problem is, if I try to explain, I'll violate the principle of brevity. So let me leave it at that. But Bishop Kimia, we really appreciate and love you and your wife as well. And I remember how you, you, you entered into marriage before us. And before our wedding, Bishop. Kimiwe came to me to see me in my office to give me a few tips out of love, concern, and uh, you, I, I don't know if you remember it, but I do. And I, I, I'm ashamed to say I don't remember thanking you, but let me thank you now before you go to the US. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, by God's grace, uh, I'll be brief, unless I've already violated, but there's a scripture, uh, Bishop uh, Ken and this is here, I'd like to just share with, not only with you, but with all of us, that I think summarizes the moment of what we are all going through together here today. It's John chapter 10 verse 16, and Bishop Please uh, take note of, of these words. It's John chapter 10, verse 16. Of course, together with your wife. The words of our Lord Jesus. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring. And listen to this. And they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd, to the glory of God. Amen. Thank you, uh, Reverend Lonzo. I think at some point you will enlighten me also on uh, my bishop break <laughs> office. Those of you who are not in the service, maybe, and you are not members of CETA, let me introduce my lovely wife. We can just stand and salute the people in some way. And thank you so much. I have learned a lot from uh, Bishop Ken. Uh, one of those things is the social things I do with my teams, uh, like visiting our homes. Those are things we learned when we served in Valley Road together. And there are many other things I could share. I'll try to be brief as well. There's a staff member who lost a parent. And I think I visited them uh, before Reverend Ken Kimiyo arrived. When he arrived, he started the committee immediately. And you don't even have to look for the chairman. He has already become the chairman. Comes in and he says, I think, uh, let's see, I think the burial should be by Friday. So now let's work backwards. We should have. <laughs> and he took over the whole thing and organized and attended those meetings every day, every single day, and made sure that the fundraising, all the logistics were taken care of. We were serving with him also when he lost his dear father. And I was, that time I was troubled because again he became the chairman. <laughs> and <laughs> we were wondering when will he mourn? And maybe eventually he did. But even in that time he was already putting together all the details. That's how he has been. Every uh, project he takes, he takes with all of his heart. One of the things Bishop like to say is, one and one. We formed a theory with Pastor Evans, who I don't know where he has gone, that if you see Bishop telling him several times, like they're waiting for him, 
at the reception then he's most likely he, he doesn't want too much <laughs> then he goes to the office that time you just uh, the other thing uh, Bishop Ken does <laughs> and I, sometimes Bishop I didn't tell you but sometimes the people who are working with him I would give them tips to know how to work with him so if you say something like, Bishop, I want to go for this conference in this place, first he'll say no. And then you insist. He will say, if you strongly feel, you know that he does not want you to go, but he cannot tell you. <laughs> if you very, 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 very strongly feel that you must do it. So it's always been kind. There's even a staff member who was caught stealing once. And people are trying to take action. Bishop Ken says, no, 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 no. But sorry, we don't do it that way. And was able to rescue this individual from being. <laughs> so when you say fatherly, when you say kind, we really appreciate. And again, like I said in the service, I'm so happy to take over from Bishop Ken because the work he has done is great. Yeah. Let's invite now the captain the ship to just uh, spare a few words to Mam Rachel and invite Bishop to give us the speech. Amen. Amen. Makofi Yangu. One has a few words. I'll ask her to say God of Jambo, then my job just to introduce the bishop to you, who will be able to take us through before the day is done, and you can have a cake picture. Sema Jambo, who do you support? One has a One has a few, Asana. Uh, I must say that I'm very, very sad that I'm very happy at the same time. But very sad because I'm going to miss my friend. Uh, we've known each other from the youth, uh, even as Pastor Lydia says, there's a time we will cry together, a time we laugh together. And I will talk more about, I always ask her, why you call you Mama Joy or Sister Joy? Because I know she's my younger sister. Uh, I'll talk more about her than even Bishop. You know, Bishop, when we got into that office, then we left him there and we were more. <laughs> <laughs> because of the higher office, so <laughs> the person we were interacting more with <laughs> is Mama Joy, my sister Joy here. When they talk of the five pastors' wives, we were always together, Mama Eda, then we had Sister Lydia, and then we had Veronica, Joy, and I. We, we were just together like this. We've come from very far. If I was to write a speech about Mom Joy, I would not even finish writing about her. But that's why we've been so much on the move, on the road. There's so much that has gone under the bridge. And just because of the great love, because of the great love we have for them, we say that even if it gets dark, we have to reach to Nairobi and in Gong just to, to bid our friends by. We will surely miss you. Bishop, I know you are together with my younger brother in the school. They're actually younger. <laughs> Then you hear me saying my younger brother, our last one. And uh, I got to know them through Pastor Martin. Somebody talked about here when we lost, when she lost her daughter. We also lost our daughter, and you can a witness how they ran up and down because of us. They, did not, they could not sleep. They had to organize everything. They 
must make sure that everything is all right. We enjoy her to go out of our way, get the dress. It took me even inside the mortuary. I had never seen, gotten inside, telling me, come, come, we look at your daughter. I had to gain courage to get in there. Just Enjoy you being such a blessing in my life. I really miss you. She's been a blessing, such a blessing. When you were going to Kisumu, she sang for us the song Carry Your Candle. When we were leaving Kisumu going to Malawi, she still sang the song Carry Your Candle. When we were landing safely, thinking that we were landing safely, she still sang to us, carry your candle. And now that we have taken off again with another flight, are you going to sing for us, carry your candle? Please continue carrying that same candle even as you leave us. Let us remain there in his presence. Do not leave the presence of God. I know one day, should the Lord turn, maybe he might visit you down there. We love you so much. We treasure you so much. Did you die? You are just our body. Julia, the Kigamis are just darlings to us. We are just, we bonded so much, even our parents. My mother and her mother, they were good friends. They have all gone to be with the Lord. You can see where we have come from. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord really bless you. You've been such a darling. I love you so much. And the little girl, Wendy, many times we were neighbors with the Lonzos as we were going to Valley Road. And sometimes they are in class. I would find her peeping through the window. They have been told to sleep. But the little girl is peeping through the window. <laughs> I'm glad to see an adult. God bless you, Wendy, and give you a, a beautiful, handsome husband. Amen. 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 You're such a lovely and a beautiful girl. And John Mark, too. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Um, Bishop Ken, I'm glad you've written that book. Uh, mentorship and uh, you're a good student most of us here uh, Reverend Colonzo, Lydia, Monica uh, Brother Ken and the rest of us here we are students of uh, Dr. Kumbo Adeyemo and students of Dennis White and uh, when Dennis White came to Kenya he pronounced that it uh, was the last foreign pastor or leader in Nairobi Pentecostal Church. He said from there on, he wanted to have national Kenyan pastors leading or taking over from him. And for sure, after Dennis White, we had no other Mzungu. And we had the privilege of getting into the ministry through the uh, leadership or mentorship of Dennis White. And Dennis White gave the responsibility of uh, shaping us and uh, skilling us and uh, uh, pruning us, Dr. Tokumbo Adeyemo. And uh, we stand here to say that uh, amongst us is Pastor Ken or not Bishop Ken, who really took that uh, spirit of mentorship, because that was the cool. And no wonder he got a wife from the office of Tokumbo. <laughs> so he was just following Tokumbo and uh, doing this, but uh, his eyes were on joy. So I, I thank God for that also. For me, I, I only one word. I thank God for the Kilonzos. Kilonzos were the first, uh, apart from, apart from the uh, uh, Pastor Doyo, who came in and he was our forerunner, 
But among the youth, Pastor Kilonzo was the first pastor to pick up from um, the ministry. And we followed Pastor Kilonzo. Like Pastor Kilonzo came Muridi, then came me, then came uh, Kibanguli, then came Pastor Ken, and then here we are, and we have a hundred pastors from Kenya leading the ministry of Sita because of the, uh, the foundation that was laid before us. And we thank God even as we are stepping out, and we will step out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to us the pastor, your bishop. And one word I'll give you, pastor, is that Philippians 1 6. In God who has begun a good work in you, will sit at the day of Christ. Until the, the gospel is preached to the ends of the world, then Christ shall come. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bishop Ken to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Amen. You may be seated. Uh, we are honored. Thank you. We are honored. Um, I think it is good that I give my wife time to say something because we are also family here and I think she's better suited to handle that bit uh, so that we just also recognize the family members. Amen. We won't go into a lot of stories. I just want to first appreciate you for staying on. Please don't go so that we can share the piece of cake. Just hold on a little. We won't go into a lot of stories. I want to honor the Kinozos. I want to honor our sister Monica, Pastor Grace, the incoming senior pastor, Sister Lydia Munene. I want to honor the Bandus. I want to honor uh, Pastor Wairimo. And for the Bandus, they just buried their brother. For them to be here, I'm really touched. I'm really touched. He died suddenly. So please, those of you who are remnant, remember to pray for them. That God will comfort them and comfort their family at the loss of their younger brother. Uh, I want to call Wendy and John Mark first to come and just say something small. And then I'll start on the Kigame side because we don't have too many people that side. Then I come to the Kibiyo family. Wendy and John Mark, please come. You can talk from here, but if you want to come up here, it's still okay. <laughs> Whatever little thing you want to say, go ahead. Good evening. We started from morning to evening. Uh, we get to be together. So thank you so much for still being here. so many things about my dad and my mom. You can imagine those are my parents. And it's not who I've been with today. All the good things you're hearing, these are people that I've spoken of first time. Mm. I had someone say uh, how with my dad <laughs> you can do a mistake and he still forgive you for your mistakes. Mm. And I'm just like that. Mm. For sure. <laughs> 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 I, I, that's why I can, I can give that testimony. <laughs> them have been just the best. There, there isn't another word for it. They've been the best. And even as they are leaving, they're not sad. They're happy for them. Of course, there will be that missing them and not being able to go home. You know, when I go home, even as Auntie uh, Rachel is saying how much she has become a dad, when I go home, 
media are uh, the, the just the best. Um, I was remembering we had gone to my dad's uh, graduation and I had looked at a picture that uh, he took of his nephew who was standing next to a banner that was written authenticity, boundaries, productivity, mission bent, receptivity, judgment, discernment, agility, innovativity, and humility. It's like he was standing next to a banner of I could say all these things about my mom, me and my dad, but also it's the both of them. They have both been instrumental in not just my life, the life of other family members, in the life of other people in church. Like so many people can say such good things about them, and I can't even begin to start the. <laughs> they they have they have been my everything, and I've learned so much from them watching them in ministry. There were times even when we knew what was down and the church might be corrupted, let's try something else, but they have still stood in church, continued with the ministry, because for them the goal has always been ministry. Mm. When I thought of community, the two of them, I usually call them Baba and Mama Sengi and Tumishi and Chumbaki. <laughs> That's what they are. They work together as a team. They always took somewhere together. If they're going to visit someone, they're always going together. Mm. And before before we were also being pushed along <laughs> for the room with them until we got somewhere now. Before I miss my point, yes, they're always together, they're always doing things together, they're always complimenting each other, even look at how they're dressed. Uh, everything, even without them planning like a puzzle and they just work so well together and that's been such a wonderful thing to watch even while growing up because it's something I would want for my life. Yes. It's, it's something I would want to see with the relationships that I have in my life, whether it is with my future husband yeah. or, <laughs> or in my friendships or even with our family, with my relationship with my brother and with them. They have been such a wonderful times where, you know, they have corrected me and I've been like, you know, a bit stubborn and I want to learn it my own way. And my mom used to tell me, you don't have to experience something to learn from it. Mm. And those are just a few things that I've learned from them. I, <laughs> they say that you, you should be brief. I don't know. I'll, I, I just, I'll keep on going on and on and on. But um, I love you guys. Have been an inspiration and an aspiration. I want to be just like you guys. I want my marriage to be just like yours. Um, even career wise, like everything they do, they're like, um, it's like they have a golden brush. It's just, everything they touch is just, it turns into gold. They do that because also it's coming from a very pure heart mm. in their heart. It's never for for show or for people to see what or see what's in their throat. It's a pure devotion coming. Even when he's introducing himself, when I'm one like Kanyiri, you're wondering how old Bishop I'm a I'm a small man. It's just humility. <laughs>
sites, the people who have been there with them since since Woodley, since Buru, for them to be able to do the work that they do, it also comes from the background and the people that they have behind them who support them. For them to still be upright in the ministry is because the people that they are trying to minister to are also in turn getting that ministry and giving it back to them. So thank you so much for everyone who's been with them from Kenya Technical College to Abete, everyone who has been in their life. And I know they are also a product because of the love and the support that they have gotten from you guys. So, Wahayo Machacho. shocked at what they're saying. <laughs> we appreciate you, Wendy and John Mark. In the Kigame family, the only people remaining here are the Obasis and the three others. They must have left. They were the ones who are helping us with the worship. So, William Clayton, you can say something kindly. Give them a mic. They are older than us, so they can talk from where they are. Acting first one ah. number for the eleven. Acting first one number eleven. Okay. Prayer has been a great anti-cowardness. For you 
is going to be there when they need her, she will be there to support them, to encourage them, to counsel who you want to say to them to that child. She's been a good sister, other siblings, a good sister to my brothers and my sisters, and we are grateful for that. Uh, Mr. Ken has been a very good brother in law. Uh, we have appreciated him. We've enjoyed him also. <laughs> We've enjoyed him being in our family capital. We recently had a family function and he said, I'm passing on this to the younger Bishop Ken. There's another Bishop Ken. My eldest uh, sister's son was a day in Jesus and he said, we are passing on this to, 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 to him. But then just a uh, little on the personal side, um, we won't go too much because I know it's When we were small, she was always on trees. If she's not on her, this one is. And then, and then sometimes she, I think she learned to swim in the river. So she's come looking for a rat, and mom can see, but she's thinking mom didn't see that. But she's being asked this, and she's. Uh, but she had this energy and joy enjoys every season of her life. Mm -hmm. That I admire about her. Yeah. She enjoys every season of her life. Mm -hmm. And that is excellent. Mm -hmm. Joy and I used to go with my dad to Catholic. I want to say just one incident. So we were coming from confession one Saturday. Every Saturday we used to go, <laughs> we used to go for confession. And that confession was very far from home. And then one day, and sometimes she would be with me, but not with me. So one day we are coming from a confession. And there's this guy who used to be in our village, you know, and he's hitting on me. Eh? Mm -hmm. And then I'm so angry with him. Because one, we are hungry. Two, I'm singing after confession because I'm angry with him. <laughs> so I'm telling this guy off. And then this guy looks at me. He, he had a lift, and you know, a heavy tummy. I'm sure you said in my holy places, Julia is harsh like pepper. <laughs> Those were just some of the moments we had with joy. We slept on the same bed. Sometimes we fought, sometimes we laughed. I fought with joy, but I hated it if any of my brothers or sisters beat her. I felt so bad. She was mine to fight with. You know, when you want to go, you know. <laughs> but we did have a good time. Um, we come from a family of 14. So Joy was the 14, then I was the 13. And then my brother. So we always were with my brother. The three of us seemed like last ones. Eh? And so with my dad, we would go to Kisumu from Maragoni. And my mom, we would go with them. So we used to come and pass at this uh, railway, railway crossing. Eh? But we used to see, to say, to think, because it would be crossing the railway. We never used to see the railway. So every time we'd get there, I said, Joy, cross, sing, cross, sing. So when we'd reach there, we'd start singing because it has said, cross, sing, you know. <laughs> but we did have good moments. And we want to appreciate you, Joy and Ken. Uh, sorry, Bishop. Out of disrespect. But um, another thing that I will really miss is um, um, my, my mother was called Tiba. And so we had this tiblet um, chapter in Nairobi with my eldest sister who passed on in Joy. So we would meet at the hub and sing and talk and do things and videotape some things. And um, I feel just so sad that uh, we are not going to have that anymore. Uh, she's going to be away, but uh, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for Pastor Ken. I'm happy for you. Um, I think I'll give my husband. Um, yes. When they were getting, when they were getting married, my husband was taking photos of the wedding as I was on, on the on the on the line. But we have also had moments at Christmas time. We would go to Thika. We would go to where 
sing together, but basically sometimes we've enjoyed Christmas together when we were not a country. We've done some things together. And so thank you. Let me give it to Kate. Good afternoon. enjoyed every moment that all of you have spoken to us. Only, uh, I think, Wairimu uh, has not pastored me, but the rest, Monica, I've known her, but she has not pastored me. Um, I won't say much, but let me say this. The day I got here as a member, Ngong, is the day my pastor and teacher, uh, Reverend Munemi, was leaving for Mombasa. And it's like my heart dropped in my stomach. And I felt I was leaving Woodley knowing that I'm going to be pastored by Reverend Munemi. But he left, left me in the hands of Josephat. Josephat Sichende. Um, then later, uh, my younger brother came and I humbled myself. And I think nobody knew that we were related. People were discovering in, in, in meetings, in uh, committees, like my gem uh, chairman, CIHOD, uh, Fisher, Hanene. They were surprised that I was sitting there quietly. Uh, enjoying the ministry and not saying anything. And my younger brother was leading the church. So we, I can say that in the family in Nairobi, we have been having a father and a bishop. What is the, the right word to use? The priest and the father, but the priest always took over, and the pastor just humbled themselves. I mean, the, the father humbled himself, and I've enjoyed your ministry, Bishop. I've really enjoyed it, and I've enjoyed your leadership. Let me just say this one incident. When my sisters, my elder sisters passed on, I became a father immediately of their children. When I was marrying Julia, we already had two grown-up children, and I didn't know what to do with them. Bishop stepped in, and that's how they got their training at the cabinet. They got in easily. So someone says he comes and takes over. That is very true, but positively. He comes and takes over, but positively. I feel often, <laughs> may the Lord help me, because our family in Nairobi is actually big. And now among the Kigames, I'm the eldest. They said she was acting fast for them. So I'm also in that, uh, in the same category that we are acting fast bonds. I was hugging John Mark and telling him, I'm around. Mm. Don't worry. Mm. I'm still around. So, by the way, um, Wendy is sharing a house with our second born. So we are still very much together. Um, Bishop, I want to thank God for you. May he feel you uh, losing my brother. Bandu is a nephew to me, so uh, I didn't attend, but I was told about it. Um, let me finish by saying, may the Lord go before you, Bishop. May he crown you. May he perform far above what you expect.
spent. In Jesus' name. When I came here, I had put my tools down. I'm a guitarist. I also sing. When I came here, <laughs> with his push, now we have the men's corner. Wow. Under my leadership. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Uncle Clayton and I share a birthday. Wow. We were born on the same day. I think I came after him. I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, again, thank you for just holding on. I want to introduce the larger Kimiria family. I'll start with the younger ones. Then one of them will represent us. Let's have the younger. You are not Kimiria, but you're still there. That's okay. Just hand up. The, if you know you are below that, okay, below 40. <laughs> to be on the safe side. Okay, this is Rene, Zalwa, a nephew. He's a son to Bishop's younger brother. You can see Rene. Uh, this is Hope. She's a, a daughter to Violet and Enoch, whom I will introduce later. And that is Moses, the brother. So these are our nieces. You may sit down. They also have Emmanuel, who is not here with us, their firstborn. This is just like, oh, Emmanuel was here. This is Faraja, a granddaughter to our sister, Professor Kimewe. You may have your seat. That is Brian and his wife and a nephew to Uncle Enoch, who is a husband to Violet, who is a sister to <laughs> Bishop Ken. He is anyway our nephew. Thank you for coming, Brian, your wife. Amen. I will then introduce the uh, siblings to my husband. Let, let's start with the one, no, let's start with one who is not too sure whether she's my sister or the sister on this other side, Auntie Agnes, just stand up and wave. She's Agnes Atsiaya, she's a, she's a friend to the Kigames and a friend to the Kimilia, so she's always finding herself in the middle. I think she was among the happiest people when we got married. We made things easier for her, so she belonged. Thank you. God bless you. It's always good to see you. Uh, the Kimilia family, they also have or had 12, there were 12 of them, 12 children, or oh, 14, like us. I keep saying I'm the 12th, and then you hear Julia saying 14. We have two sisters who are steps, so I always forget. <laughs> Forgive me for that. So I'm actually the 14th. They too were 14, and somehow then gone on to be with the Lord. I want to start with Violet and Enoch. Please just rise and face the people so that they can see you. And for Enoch stood as a KTTC one, but uh, I think he was very wise to take that opportunity. But he is our brother-in-law, we appreciate you. So, who do you think she's a sister to? Bishop Ken or me? No, she's my sister. <laughs> anyway, this is Violet Moho. And many people think we are sisters. Actually, when our mother saw me for the first time, she called me Violet. Then she was told, no, 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 this is the girl Ken is married. So, <laughs> we appreciate you, Violet. Then we go to Professor Kimiye, Judy. Want to stand and wave. And, uh, Sister Lucy, Mom, uh, Lydia. And you want somebody to talk about nutrition, there's a doctor in nutrition here. You have a speaker for women ministries. <laughs> and now we have Auntie Grace Kihara, who is the firstborn. I will let her talk on behalf of the family. Thank you, John. Uh, the high table. And all of us who have been patient. Good evening. Uh, I won't say much. I will give my twin, my uh, Joyce twin, to say something. But all I can say this evening, 
I told them a while back, a part of me is going with them, just as uh, Clayton said this often. I already told them, a part of me is going with them. And I can hear everybody is going. I think I should be getting a ticket <laughs> yeah, you know, to join them too. However, um, I must say, as everyone has said, whatever you have said, we have nothing contrary to that. Within the family, without the family, that is care. And then you got somebody, you know. What is the wording that uh, behind a successful man, there is? Yeah, that one. And uh, Joy has played that role very, very well. Uh, I must say, even if I'm the eldest, in fact, somebody asked me the other day, you know, let me let, on, let you on on that secret. A friend of mine asked me, is he your follower? I said, oh, no, 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 no. He's there, there, you know. <laughs> Somewhere there. Actually, to be honest, as some would say, we are 14, and I think he is number seven. Mm. So, I, actually, he is right in the middle of our uh, that, uh, but he took up his role and he took it up only. And even when he was joining, uh, let me just say something. When he was joining a uh, sit up, mm, you can hear we were 14. So I was like, hey. now when he goes into ministry, who will help me to carry this 14 or this other 11 people? But God has his own plan. Because he came in and he went on and even overtook all of us. And he has done a beautiful job in that. And even as he has ministered in Sita, we have seen he came in with that calling. He came in to serve. And as you have all said, you know, I'm just repeating what you have all said. You know, he came in with that calling to serve God, not to serve man. Well, man comes in, yes, but his calling was service to God. And as he goes out there, may the Lord guide them, may the Lord open doors for them, may they conquer the world. Thank you very much. But I want by you to say something small. Thank you, Auntie Grace. I call her Auntie Grace because she raised me. In this number seven, I'm number nine. <laughs> yes, number ten, I'm being reminded. But it's, it's such a privilege and an honor to be here today. Thank you for, for being with us. Um, I'm, I'm not very good at being told to just speak. I'm the kind of people who write everything that they want to see. So it's, it's good. But uh, just having listened to us today um, <clears throat> and seeing what we've said about Bishop and Auntie Joy, one of the things that has left uh, a mark in me is that indeed they lived lives of leaders. Mm. A leader is somebody who leaves other people better than they found them. And as I heard testimonies here, I can see they reached you where you are. Well, whatever experience you are having, they met you there. And, and to me, that is really who they have been. They reach you where you, where you are. <clears throat> and they come with love. And for us, we are really privileged as family. You can imagine, as uh, uh, Wendy was putting it, that we have lived this, uh, seeing them. Sometimes when people get into ministry, it's easy for them to forget family. Uh, but Bishop and uh, um, Joy have been there. Uh, Bishop has been our father and our mentor, and he has raised many of us. Uh, I must say that uh, for me, it was an honor to have him as a brother. And for all of us, uh, whether we are nephews or nieces, we are blessed to have had him as a sibling first. For some of us who are privileged to play, so those climbing of trees are uh, 
and Julia, we have done. But that's not the picture you know. We have also been mentored spiritually, all of us. He prayed for us to be saved. And I, I really wonder how he feels sometimes when he hears us being born again. Mm -hmm. Because some of us were snatched from the fire as a result of his prayer. I really bless the Lord for them because wherever you are, whether it's good or bad, they identify with you. Many times people like identifying with you when you're experiencing good, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. And you can see uh, people have attested to it that even in loss, they will be there with you. And we've experienced the same. I learned being a good wife from Auntie Joy. And uh, <clears throat> how I learned being a good wife was also baptism by, by fire. When they got married, I was privileged to be the one who was the caretaker of their gifts. Those days, people actually used to bring physical gifts. Uh, I see these days we, we do something. And so when they went on honeymoon, I was the custodian. So, um, and when my brother came back with his loving wife, I remember that was the first mentoring session of getting married. You see all these gifts. This is what you receive when you walk your life well and when you do the right things. So I actually got married. Uh, from day go, I knew uh, this is how you keep yourself well so that you are able also to, to be blessed. But other than that, I've seen a Proverbs 31 woman named Auntie Joy. I've seen him stand with Bishop, walk with him. You know, you, maybe you, you may not know my brother. Maybe let me just give you a... You know, my brother is the one that I'm sure he has looked at these curtains and wondered why you didn't push them to see, you know? <laughs> Or why, why, why is it this blue and not? So if you're getting married to him, you can imagine the uphill task. So I looked at this pretty young girl coming, and I thought, wow, the Lord has really blessed her. And you know, she has just been a blessing, and I look at it and think, wow, indeed the Lord put her in the right placing and gave my, my brother the right kind of wife, and she has exemplified it and been the Proverbs 31 woman. Through thick and thin, I've seen her. You know, someone says she's restful, she's rested. I've never seen her anxious even through the hard times of life. I've seen her stand. I've seen her stand with the family. I've seen her walk with the family. I've seen them raise their children, uh, Wendy and John Mark. And for all of us, you always want to have a living example for things. So we were privileged not to be told, but to see people living out life, and that is how we have been mentored. And, and so it's, it's really for us a blessing and a celebration. Uh, I know you feel like you're a family, they are going, you should be crying. No, no, they deserve it. Uh, my brother is a prayerful man, my sister-in-law is a prayerful woman. I know when they say they are going to America, the Lord has sent them. It's our responsibility to do the blessing and just say, may you go with me, the Lord. You can see we are all coming, so may you have a bigger house, uh, whichever way, but I know the Lord is going to bless you. As a mentor, he has now put us on the global platform. Mm. You see, we have walked among the people here, he keeps mentoring us through. And now you can see we are at a different level. And so may God bless you as we go out there. It's really been a privilege and an honor to be Wendy said, to be family, uh, we've been blessed, we've been favored because of you. We've met all these lovely bishops because of you. We have experienced them in very personal ways because you've introduced them to us. And we did not, we say it was such an honor to serve the people you brought our way. We never took anything for granted. May the Lord bless you as you go out there. May you be his shining stars every other time. God bless you. Number 10, you did well. <laughs> Thank you, what a beautiful tribute. There's a friend of mine, she will be so short. Sister Lucy, do you want to just stand and wave? Don't look around, you're the one called Lucy. <laughs> Mrs. Lucy Wambogo, I want to give you one minute. Please just an hour, she's very special to me. Is Sister Leeds still here? She left. One minute for her, just give her my where she is. Wow, 
I was not expecting to stand here, but uh, well, I'm grateful. Thank you, Mam Joy and uh, Bishop. Mam Joy and Bishop are very close to me. We started together in Sitam Buruburu, and, uh, and they were there when I became the leader of women ministry. With their support, I managed. I felt very inadequate, but I can tell you for sure they supported me. They gave me all the support I needed, and I stood on my two feet, and I was able to lead that ministry in Sitam Buruburu. And I always say with the Bishop Ken and Mam Joy, the kind of foundation that they laid in Sitam Buruburu, it's amazing. And that has held the, the, the ministry together. I always say Sitam Buruburu is different. I don't know how Sitam Gong is, but uh, Sitam Buruburu is quite something. I, I'm not in Sitam Buruburu at the moment. I've since relocated from Buruburu to Linguru. very powerful in Buruburu. And we, we love you, uh, Bishop and Mam Joy. Mam Joy, we, our friendship went beyond that. We became very close. Now, a personal friend, where we share, we pray, we share. I, I get very vulnerable with her, and I can share the very intimate things with her. And she prays for me. She prays for my family. Even my parents, it's amazing. She's very dear to my parents. My parents are like, I thank God for that. And I keep saying, imagine Mam Joy at some point left and went all the way to my rural village to go and see my parents. That's the kind of people Mam Joy and Bishop are humble. They come to our level. I always say, they're so happy. They come to our level. They identify with us. They minister to us. It's just amazing. We're very happy for you, Bishop and Mam Joy. At some point, I also felt like I'm actually losing a friend because we meet every other every other time, although there is still the social media there, we still communicate, but it will not be the same. But I wish them the very best, because they have been faithful with the what God has, has entrusted them with here. And now, now the cloud has moved. It is not now in Kenya. It is beyond. It is now overseas. And they move with it. And we wish you well. We know you've been faithful with what God entrusted with with you here in Kenya, in Sita, and we do believe that uh, he has opened uh, wider doors for you, and we know that uh, God will go before you, and it will be greater, it will be better. Like everybody has said, get a bigger house, let it not be a small one, because we are all looking forward uh, to come and witness what the Lord will be doing through you, where he is sending you. So we love you, and we send you there with all the love. God bless you. Amen. Now I want to allow Bishop to say something as we close. Uh, wow. You're still there? Yes. Thank you for your patience. I think, my dear, we need to go down uh, so that we can crack the cake. And as we do that, uh, mine is just really to express our gratitude to all of you for finding time to come and uh, escort us and commission us. Um, for the young people, it works. We are talking about over 30 years, 40 years of being in the Lord. So it is not a trisec thing. It works. And so long as you live faithfully and committedly to the Lord, uh, you will be talking like this 30 years. 40 years from now. And for those of you who are in there, um, just do it because you know it is not in vain. Yeah, do it with all the commitment, with all the dedication. I like the way David says that there is nothing that he would want to offer the Lord that would cost him nothing. Uh, for David, it is like he wanted to love God uh, exorbitantly, you know, uh, with a certain excess. And I believe the same thing applies to all of us. 
whatever opportunity God gives you in life, uh, utilize it. Just like I say it during the service, don't try life. Leave it. Just leave it. And as you leave it, as God brings people around you that you can also uh, add value to, do that. And the greatest legacy, as I said, is when God is glorified. Uh, to tatembea chini so that we can cut this cake. Uh, I, personally, I'm normally very time cautious. And I know some of you have come from far places. And so we wouldn't like to keep you any longer. So the lady is probably helping us out. And I would also want to uh, recognize a good friend of mine, uh, Honorable Vita Dambiri, together with his wife Catherine. These are people that we love. I've been to their home in uh, Taraka. And uh, he is the former uh, uh, deputy governor uh, of Kirinyaga. And so we are honored to have you, sir. Thank you. I've told the other ones preaching in Embu, and he has driven all the way just to come here. Amen. That is how deep uh, this kind of thing is. And again, Radido, thank you for helping me with the books. I think it will outlive some of us. Uh, these are the prints that somebody was talking about. When you face out, you leave something that people can reflect on and that can spur people even to greater heights in life. And so I think with that, we will now proceed down uh, so that we can cut this cake.
to just say thank you for this cake. We don't take it for granted. You have been so patient. Please don't go home without a piece. There is enough cake for all of you. Thank you, ladies, for this cake.